Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is of course Jack and welcome back to Lumber Tycoon 2. Today we're doing something a little different from what we usually do. I'm actually going to be building a one plot modern house inside Lumber Tycoon 2. I think this is going to be quite an interesting video to see how modern I can get it to look within Lumber Tycoon 2 considering we only have like the wood texture obviously that we build with and obviously then we also have glass. Obviously, you know, games such as Bloxburg have different materials they can use which obviously gives them advantage over playing Lumber Tycoon when it comes to building. I do have a picture of what I want this thing to look like. I'm not going to make it to look exactly like this. However, I want it to look somewhat like this anyway. In this video, I think I'm just going to be doing the exterior. I don't think I'm going to be messing around with the interior of this building. So if you want me to do the interior as well, then let me know down in the comments and I'll definitely consider doing an interior. Or if you want to see more videos of me doing building like this, like I've never really done stuff like this before on my channel, but I think it would be really interesting to see what you guys think. So I've just gone ahead and collected a ton of birch wood. And I say a ton, it's actually about one tree. I've just decided that the main colours of this, we're going to be, obviously as it's modern, we're going to go for a white which is the birch wood, and then we're also going to go ahead and do a secondary colour which is going to be spook wood. So I think this is going to be the front here. It's quite, it's obviously going to be a boxy building, obviously as it's going to be fitting into this one plot. Other YouTubers have done these sorts of videos as series before. I'm not going to be doing this as a series, just because I think I can probably get this done in a few hours, and if I can't then, well, this is probably going to be day one of me recording this. Let's go ahead and fill up some blueprints, just to start off the base work. Rule one of building is that you always build the base of the building first and you know I didn't do that on the hotel build so I'm definitely doing it now. Um, don't think that I'm any way an expert by the way so don't expect this to look great. Okay we're not going out all the way to the edge of the base because I want obviously some area to do like you know some greenery if I want it. So I say we're going to start there. Okay that's as far back as I'm going right now. In fact I could probably move that onto there. I just don't want to right now. I'm just, I'm just being cautious. So if I'm looking at the photo again I realise that the side of the building needed to be slightly rescaled and bought in slightly. So this part here is just me reworking that side of the floor. I need a few more of these filled in. Ah, that was not really what I was going for with trying to fill in with blueprints, but we'll rock it. It's fine. Oh, I forgot how difficult spook is the chop. Kind of noticed that the sides, or sorry, this front area, which is kind of like a balcony, is kind of like double the height of the rest of like the area. Um, I don't really know why that is, because I think it looks a bit silly, but like, I mean, we're going to rock it. So, let's go ahead and put a smooth wall right there. We need to turn, rotate, turn. Starting to get a feel of what this is going to look like now. I w I've just been sort of building, hoping that it looks okay so far. And I think we're doing okay. So the door is going to go here. The door's about going to be about the same width as that. And then we'll have like a little window that goes next to it here. Is that going to look more in proportion? And then we could kind of have like a place to park your car next to this. I think that's what, I think that's the right thing to do. But for now, I think it's going to be absolutely fine for the sawmill to just go here. And now we can go ahead and fill in this to the back using these remaining blueprints that we have. So before I went ahead and built any more, I actually decided that it would probably be wise for me to go and grab a load of windows that I could use for the build in order to start having an idea of how big I needed to make the window panes, obviously because I couldn't do that before I already saw the size of the windows. Okay, so you probably can't see that, but there is glass in there. I'm leaving these gaps here. It wasn't intentional to start with. I'm kind of thinking it looks nice like that, though, if I fill in, obviously, with two blueprints and these either sides, so that's going to be fine. But that's the door there now. And then we bought two of these. So I think at the side, yeah, I think those are going to look uh, pretty decent. And we'll have uh, a wire going around them to obviously mark out a, a darker edge as well, which will look really decent. And then that should be the perfect size to have a smooth wall down the side. Oh, of course it's not. Okay, fine. It's not the perfect size. So again, for some reason, I was not great at talking during this video, so some parts of this don't have me talking, hence why there's these voiceovers. So this part of the video here, I was actually just getting ready to do the slats, which you can see at the front of the building, in front of the main window. I made these out of fence posts, so I thought that was going to be easiest. I could have done them out of tiny tiles, but that was going to be way too time-consuming, so I decided to do it out of fences instead. I then filled those blueprints with spook wood, and then obviously placed them towards the 
the front to see how they looked. So from here onwards, I actually decided that I would continue working on the front of the building. As you can see, I've built up the balcony area just next to where the wooden slats are, which is going to be leading out from the main bedroom. And then I also started to work on the roof and canopy area for the downstairs balcony as well. Again, I wasn't very good at talking, it seems, during this. I think I was just getting tired and I was heavily concentrated on what I was doing that I kind of forgot that videos need to have talking in as well, so apologies for that. But I think this was around where I finished working for this first day. Okay, so we're getting there, I think. Uh, the front is starting to look pretty decent now, if I may say so myself. So this area here, we've just got to add some windows to go up here. I need to go and grab some window panes from Fancy Furnishings. This thing here is just going to stop at the top and then be connected, so it's just a sort of decorational thing. We've then got these slats which are going here, which in my opinion actually look really good. The only thing that I would say we could improve on is this bit here. There's nothing that we can do about that though, unfortunately. Uh, we've also got obviously the roof detailing going on as well. We've also got this balcony area just here which is started to be formed. And obviously the door and also the window area next to it just there. As we said before, this is going to be somewhere to park a vehicle. Obviously, you know, because you need somewhere to keep your car. Um, and now I'm just going to work on the sides, obviously, as well, to make sure that we have the main building complete. Okay, so day two of recording this video, pretty much. So I was on hold for like an hour before I started actually recording. So in that time, I went and like got materials. So I went and got some more birch wood. And also I went and filled in the rest of this window uh, with the rest of the glass panes that I had to go and buy from Fancy Furnishings. And then I also filled in this part here with glass panes as well. So that's looking a little bit more finalized. Is that the word I want to use? Yeah. I've also started working a bit more on the roof area, so I think I've decided that I want this part of the roof here to be slightly higher than this part here. I don't know why, I just think it might look kind of cool. And I also started putting this here, which is obviously going to be the start of the balcony area, which is going to stop us from walking off the edge, which makes sense, I suppose. I think the majority of the, if, like, the front bit of the exterior is done. We just need to work more on the sides and the roof, just to make sure that it's actually a building and not just a, well, thing. So I'm not entirely sure where I want the windows to be on the side of this building. Obviously, the windows need to be kind of everywhere, I guess, for like in order to let the light in. Yep, great job, Jack. That's usually what a window is used for. Good one. However, the thing I'm unsure on is the floor plan for what I want for this building because obviously I'm not going to be doing the interior in this video. It's only going to be the exterior. So I need to know whether you guys want an interior video. And then I need to kind of decide where the windows need to go from that, I guess. And I also know it's a lot easier to place the blueprints when they're filled with wood. I just kind of find it easier to plan out what I'm thinking in my head if I can do it this way. So yeah, I know a lot of people will be in the comments saying, yeah, it's going to be so much easier if you just go in, like fill in the blueprints and then place them. And I agree, in most cases it is. I just find in sort of when doing this kind of thing, it's making my life a little bit more easier in my head when trying to plan out where the rooms are going to be. I feel like it'd be cool to have kind of like a living, upstairs living area up there. That's kind of my thoughts. And then a kitchen, another living area downstairs, and like a bedroom or something. I don't know. I really need to think about the interior in order to know where the windows are going to be. So I think I'm going to put the windows in random places for now, and then we can kind of decide when we come back to this whether the, the windows need to be moved. Um, this one's slightly bigger than this one, because I think this one is going to be like the kitchen area here, whereas this one's going to be like the main living room area there. So it kind of makes sense for the living room area to have a bigger window. So I decided on this side of the house that I would actually have the staircase going up from the ground floor up to the first floor. So I've decided to do this sort of split window type design here, which I think is going to look pretty cool. And then obviously I will extend that style of window up to the first floor just as soon as I start working on it. And while we're up here, I suppose we might as well just finish this little bit of roof up here just to see if that's actually going to look okay. And if it's not, then obviously when we'll have to think of something else. I think that it should look all right though. Like, I'm thinking if we have this a level higher than this, so it would be the exact same level as this just here. That's my, that's what I've got in my head anyway. Actually, I think it's probably more dis noticeable from a distance than it is close up, especially from when looking up there, you wouldn't be able to tell a difference. But from a distance off, you can definitely see that there is a change in heights there, and I think that looks kind of cool. So yeah, I think for the rest of it, we'll continue on doing that kind of design. Okay, so I'm kind of thinking like this. So as you can see there, they've got the, like, a window, which is quite similar to what we've done for the kitchen area in our building. But then you've also got that door, and that door for us is gonna be on the other side, but then this flat wall right at the back. So this flat wall at the back here, it can be where the appliances go. I think that's gonna be the best thing to do. I'm looking at the place where this door is at the moment and how far the countertops are gonna come out. It might be worth us taking this right out, I'm thinking. 
because then we should be able to fit the countertops in. So I'm actually looking at the building itself that we modeled this off and I'm looking down the side of like how many windows are in this place. There's literally like one window on the whole of the upstairs. Like it doesn't have many windows at all. I'm kind of wondering whether I do the same, like seeing as that's what I'm modeling it off. Ah, oh, I know what I can do. What we're going to do, we're going to do exactly what we did on the downstairs, but sort of inverted if that is the right word to use for that. I'm not entirely sure. So once I've gone and collected some more birch wood, I actually started to fill in the blueprints to finish the windows on the first floor. As you can see, they're slightly to the side from the first ones. That's obviously just a sort of quirk that I thought would look okay. Um, I hope that it does. And then I just continued to work on the first floor and also the ceiling. So from this point onwards, I went ahead and grabbed some more birch wood and then completed the first floor walls and also the roof area. There wasn't really too much interesting going on here as it was obviously just me placing blueprints and also making space for the windows where I anticipated to be putting them. So I actually planned on the first floor to have a sort of dropped ceiling and if you don't know what that is it's where like the ceiling is in two layers and I, I did kind of do this kind of and what I plan to do is have a neon light that goes around the edge of that I thought that would be quite cool and nifty looking but again that's all going to be covered in the interior video if you guys want that okay so there we have it we have just gone ahead and built a modern house in a one plot in Lumber Tycoon 2. Now guys, this has just been one episode that I've done this in. I think if I look there, it's been about three hours of work in order to get the full exterior done, bearing in mind obviously I didn't have to go and collect the spook wood, but all of the birch wood and all of the glass was collected during the video. I've not filled in the rest of the windows around here because before I do that, I want to make sure you guys want to see an interior video because if I do an interior video, it's quite likely that I will end up moving some of these windows around, which means that I might not need the ones that I'm purchasing to fill these current ones in. Go and let me know down in the comments below. Do you want to see me do another video on this which is doing the interior and do you want to see me do more videos on building in Lumber Tycoon 2 and if you have any suggestions of what you'd want to see built again let me know down in the comments below but if you haven't already guys please be sure to go down below like comment and subscribe turn on notifications if you want to be kept updated with my latest videos and I will catch you in my next video